All right, welcome back to EA UFC career mode. All right, so we've got our new opponents to look for. Let's see who he is. Got a little cutscene first. I always prefer the submission over a knockout. Knockouts are nice, but uh, the other fighter has you know no say really. The submission, they're saying, okay, you got me, you're the better guy, I submit, I give up. And you know you had to work for it. You had to outmaneuver, outthink, outsmart that guy to accomplish it. When it comes to the submission, the good thing about it is that you know, you know when you got it, you know it's over. You have the hold before they tap out and you have it finished before the fight's over. It's complete dominance. They're gonna get a broken arm, they have to submit. They're gonna get choked out, they have to submit. And for me, that's the best. The submission, it's just, it's just one plus one equals two. Simple, that's it, it's over. Good night. There's a lot of fighters that you see in these cutscenes that aren't even in the game. Like even Brock Lesnar's not in the game, he was champion. Randy Couture's not in the game. Those two guys at the end weren't. Alright, so we got another judo fighter. Is this the same guy we just fought? Looks similar. Didn't look at his name. Alright, so it's judo again. So as long as we keep working on stand up, we fight these um, judo guys. Should have a good advantage. Let's move on to train them. Today we're going to test your submission defense skills. I want you to keep your mind open for your body control. Excellent job with the submission defense. This Jiu Jitsu um, game's really quick. Five seconds that took me. Today we're going to focus on kick combos to the body using tie pads. Kick combos to the body. Perfect. It's not really a combo when you throw the same leg twice. Like that, a big power kick. Work in there. Those advanced kicking combinations. But today we're going to drill clinch techniques where we focus on dirty boxing. Nice and easy training sessions here. They're all ones where you just got to put in commands, which are pretty simple. It's just like playing Parappa the Rapper. Some dance game. Getting quite a lot of points for these now. 247. Let's work on the blocking a bit more. All right, I'm gonna put look for takedown defense. Sixty. Let's get down to like, yeah, that'll do. Seventy-five. That's uh, quite a big number, I think, for the for the point we are in the career. All right, I'm gonna work on some. Um, maybe is stand up a control thing? It's probably ground control, isn't it? Standing up. Because I've been having quite a bit of trouble with them sometimes. Alright, let's work on some more punch and stuff. Some more speed. A bit more power on the left hand. Get the right hand to 60. Let's put some power. Let's maybe some kick speed. Get that to 60. Um, Left leg power. Yep. Yeah. Only got 7 points left now. I don't think there's anything we can really spend that on. So let's save it for the next um, for, um, training session. Save changes. We'll keep the heavy heavy hands um, ability for now. We unlocked something else um, in the last fight for abilities, but I haven't checked what they are yet, and I'm not going to because we can only assign one anyway. Okay, we're the first fight in the card this time, so we're not going up the rankings in terms of like um, where we appear on the fight card. We've been second twice, and now we're the first fight in the card. You want to be working your way up the card so you're more like people are waiting to watch you instead of just getting you out the way. Between Cyclops and Mount. Yeah, Cyclops, that rings a bell. I'm sure that's the guy that we fought last time. Well, not last Cyclops. fight, but the fight before the last. First debut fight. fight that's unusual to be fighting the guy twice. And this guy rocked me a few times, I think, on the feet last time. I got him a big, big uppercut there, apparently. That's what the commentators are telling me. He blocks the punch. Nice hook. 
two combinations body head. Did none of them really land it though. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the bottom. Welcome to the jungle. Oh, he's karate kick. Man, he just missed connecting with that. Got his leg damage there. Let's work his body so he can't why well, can't get away. Oh, no way can he take me down. We've got leg damage like that. Stand up. No. Try and get up quickly. I think we got right hands up to 70, wasn't it? So we should be doing good damage with the right hands. Got to work our way out of this before we can actually try and escape it. Maybe take him down. I got the takedown, nice. Let's get on mount if we can. No, we defended that. I'll defend that as well. Okay, we're on mount. Let's throw some big shots. Weaken his head. You can't throw body shots in the mount as well, which I think is quite strange. You're pretty much restricted to trying a submission or head shots. You can throw a few different variations of head strikes. Let's get back up. Done some damage on the ground. He's back up again. He's able to parry the strike. Solid jab. Oh, yeah. He got me in the clinch as what to throw a counter, counter shot. Locks in the Muay Thai clinch. Nice knee to the body. I lost a lot of stamina there. Nice throwing play. them shots. Nice block, and he counters with the jab. Looks like I'm landing good shots, but they're not really doing much damage. The kick gets through. Nice leg kicks. Oh, he clipped him there. Great relentless. Some slow punches right there. I'm not sure if the head damage just stays um, permanently. Or damage to any limb. You know, because it fades away pretty quick. But I'm not sure if you can actually do damage quicker. The more damage you've done over the fight. Cyclops with a solid sidekick. Checked. He does a good job parrying that strike away. That's an excellent jab. Let's escape out with this. Yep. Whoa, got a good headshot there. He's down. And he's still stunned. We can finish him here. And we finished them. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a head kick knockdown or stun. Because that's not a powerful slim. But it is a head kick, so I normally do do more damage than punches. Hurries for the big elbows to try and finish the fight. I put that t shirt on as well. It's my walking t shirt, UFC one. Train, fight, win, repeat. You are winner by TKO. I wonder if Joe Rogan shows an appearance in this for like, oh, I got knockout of the night. Cool. First fight at the oh, knockout of the night. It's crazy. That was quite a few submissions this time. None of them have actually got the submission of the night award though. Here we go, that one did. And the main card fight got fight of the night. Demetrius Johnson looks like he's still the champion. Okay, so he took some damage there for total career damage on the bottom left. It's gone up one block. I wonder if that actually affects how much damage you can take in a fight, or if it's just how how long your career is gonna last. Holy sh! What a knockout, kid! That is exactly what we knew you could do when we signed you. Enjoy that knockout bonus. Right, next opponent, Yuki Kudo. He's a pretty much all-around fighter. Karate is his style. I'm going to see what some of the ability points are that we got as well. See if I've unlocked any more actual slots so I can have more than one abil um, ability at a time. Yeah, we have. Okay, so we can have two of them now at, at a time. Oh, wrong button. Okay, back in there. So we'll have, the, we'll have the punching, and, oh god, these are ground ones. 
Chestmaster, 530. Increase the damage of strikes in the clinch and on the ground. Briefly reduce your opponent's stamina recovery after a successful takedown. Well, in dominant ground position, slow your opponent's ability to regenerate stamina. That's quite a good one if you're a ground fighter. Stop their stamina from going up as quick. And I've got the kicks one still. Decrease stamina drain of performing consecutive strikes. Oh, so you can throw more combos and not lose as much stamina. Increase chance to wobble or cause liver shots after lunge counter. Lunge, I think that's when you lean back and forwards, side to the side. I don't really tend to do that. And then you've got these physical attributes. Prove recovery time from health events. And faster when moving. Actions you perform while in health events cost no stamina. While in health events, does that mean my, my health's damaged or his, the opponent's? I'm not too sure what that means. But I quite like the look of flu fluidity, so you can kind of do more damage over time. Without him um, running out of stamina, without me running out of stamina. So go for that for now. Keep keep with the um, the stand up style. I think as well because I'm getting a lot of points for um, training games. I think only moves cost a hundred points, so I'll be able to buy, buy buy some moves without having to lose out on a lot of attribute points. Okay, so this is just spar, and I've got to score as many points as I can. I wonder if the fluidity thing actually applies to my stam my um, training as well. What's this punching? I think he said, doesn't it? Yeah, must be because the opponent's only throwing punches as well to get some stamina back. I think I get points then as well for blocking. Alright, well, he's um, taking all these shots to the face, just might as well keep throwing them. That's moving your head. Almost done. Almost got a thousand points. That's all we need. Yep, that should be enough for a black belt. You think they'd be wearing big gloves as well for training, but. You put training gloves into the game, but just the same style as what you'd fight in, it looks like. Heavy bag. I haven't done this in a while. Got plenty of time left. I got some rewards there. Are these more abilities I can use? Weathering, I think I got them for leveling up, because I'm level 5 now. Not too sure what level 5 actually means. Uh, I think moves only cost 100, so I've got 1200 points, so I'm not losing a lot of points by um, purchasing, purchasing a move. We've got big hooks over there. I quite like that elbow. Overhand hook. That looks like a normal hook. Okay, power overhand, overhead hook even. I'm going to go for that, for the punching. Put that on my right hand, I think. I have to assign the points as well to remember to do that. But quite a lot of these punches look like the basic attacks. Like the, the power punches that they call them. Okay, so they're punches. Let's maybe get a head kick start, a different type of head kick. I don't want to get anything too fancy. I want to get something that's effective. Calf kick, no. Capo no, that's silly. Capoeira kick. Cartwheel kick. Crane kick. De Santos spinning. Sp <laughs> it's named after him. He's only thrown it once in a fight, I think. It's Mark Hunt. Maybe get a flying knee. So um, when the opponent's trying to back up, just hit him with a flying knee. Okay, so this opponent we're fighting is Karate, but he's got kind of a stat set overall, like well rounded. So I put some points into blocking. Um, I put some right head kicks because I, I think um, you want to probably have a dominant side. So like dominant right hand, dominant right leg. Let's increase my punch. I want my punch speed to be maxed out as soon as possible, probably. Okay, that's enough stuff in stand up for now. I think let's put some stuff in. Um, maybe ground control. Takedown defense is quite high, 76. 
put some ground control in there. Ground passing. What's the difference between passing and control then? Maybe control is like holding on, defending ground movements. And put some points into um, maybe movement so we can catch on to our opponents when they're rocked. Yeah. Put, I'm going to focus on some defense stats stand up, I think, next time. Or just over, there's no difference between stand up and ground stat defense. Just work on defense. Alright, let's make quick work of this next opponent. Actually, we need to assign the point the moves. I'll skip this bit out. Okay, so it seems that it turns out that um, them strikes were already assigned to points. So it was just a waste of time. There's no women fights in the cards here, it seems. I don't think you can actually play as a woman in career mode. You can't make one. Bone Crusher. Mr. Karate Guy. I think that's my hook I just learned. I was just testing a seat. That's it, yeah. And I'm a flying knee. There we go. Landed it as well. Nice. Come on. Let's get this guy. Man, he can't take too many of those body shots. Definitely gotta make sure I keep throwing if I'm throwing a kick from the outside, throw the right hook um, nice right leg kick. Because it's the most powerful one. Wrecked his head a bit there, the combination. He connects with the hook to the head. Nice knee with the combination. Oh! Oh! Oh my Oh no! No! It's gonna try to throw a flying knee! And he rocked me with my my side. Oh shit, I should, I should have been throwing punches really. I'm trying to wait for it to cool down. Silly, really. Shit, that's me. I was looking at the wrong stamina gauge there. I didn't realise that was mine that was going down. Full flying knee. Unlucky. His head damage is pretty damn damaged. Oh, he didn't throw that spin. This is a big scrap, this. My style has completely gone out the window. There's the overhand hook. There's the knee. So, oh, is he defending it? Oh, he got me out. Oh, God, he's got me. Oh, no. <laughs> what a turn around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too busy trying to throw my new strikes, but getting myself battered. That's a card, my stamina's everywhere. Under three on the clock, round one. He was able to block the shot to the body. He got hit with a left hook. Into an my style is, my, my focus has completely gone out for some reason, I don't know why. I'm just throwing all sorts of terrible strikes. Solid jab by Mount. Very nice. He lands oh, a big right hand. Hand. right hand. Defended that. Let's get him with a flying knee for trying to attempt something on me. Show him what happens if you attempt a takedown. Joe, that kick hurt him. That's a damaging knee to the body. I'm trying to find this overhand right, catch him with it. Hit him quite a lot in the head, actually. I'm head hunting a bit. It's clipped. Let's get the flying leap. Nah, no, too late. Too short. <laughs> I shot him loads then. So it's covering up, then throwing a big shot at him. There we go. Finished him. Good. My commentator was trying to all over the place. There, he was trying to focus too much. That was probably my scrappiest fight so far. 
where my just techniques just completely gone out the window, just trying to finish the guy before he's even time. Looking for the knockout more than trying to just let it come naturally. Yeah, I won. I know. Making your mark. Do an AMA. I think that's the fans trophy. Do an ask me ask me anything. That's what happens when you get so many fans. So I think I've knocked out all my opponents so far in my UFC career. I've got quite a few submissions in the Ultimate Fighter. But since my actual career started, I've been getting knockouts. TKOs. Another fight, another win. Doesn't stop with you. You're on an amazing win streak right now. And I don't see it ending anytime soon. Keep up the good work, and that title shot will be on its way. Congratulations, kid. You're really popular. But popularity is a double-edged sword. Sure, it's great, and it helps you out a lot, but it can also make you lose your focus. Your job is to keep that focus no matter what, no matter how many people you got loving you, you gotta stay winning. So focus in and stay winning. Okay, so Dana mentioned a title fight possibly coming soon. I don't think that's gonna happen because I haven't even fought anyone from the actual UFC in real life yet. I've still been fighting opponents that are made up and I'm still on the prelims. You know, <laughs> there's a lot of steps I need to take before I can probably get a, a title fight. I'm gonna end this part here, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.